up you too boo what's up you guys i am back with another general reading this reading will be for january the 31st to february the 1st you guys and this reading will not resonate with everyone okay so take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind the energy can be flip switch reverse this could be you a friend a family member somebody you dealing with somebody you have dealt with Okay, like I said, y'all, if it ain't your story, don't make it fit. And like I said, also, you guys, this is not only for TikTok, but this is also for YouTube. I'm going to pick up the energy for um, today and tomorrow and see what's going on with the collective. Now, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I've already kind of been picking up the energy lately. I'm feeling like, because we're still in Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde don't end until February the 3rd. And so y'all already know what happened. Like a lot of shit go wrong, uh, breakdown in communication, things not going right. Um, just a lot of bullshit. Okay. It's a lot of stuff that's going on in Mercury Retrograde. It also caused you to think about old memories, um, past people that was in your life. And a lot of times spirit bring this back up so we can work on something or we can learn something from that situation. But I am picking up amongst the collective, a lot of you guys are learning to let go of control. Okay, I feel like a lot of us, and I know I'm one of them, I have a big control issue. I like things to go my way. Okay, it's my way or the highway. <laughs> and when shit don't go right, I be like, what is going on? Why is it not going the way I want it to go? So I'm picking up that this was a lesson that we was meant to learn. Um, Spirit is wanting for us to release the need to control a situation. Stop pushing against the tide and go with the flow. You got to get into the flow of life and trust the universe. Trust that everything is happening for a reason. A lot of things is falling out of our life so new things can come in too. So y'all, I already pulled a couple of Oracle cards. I'm loving the Oracle cards I see. We got round and round. This was the first card that came out. It came out in reverse. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm picking up that for a lot of you, this Mercury retrograde, I'm picking up that a lot of you, you've been looking at cycles that you have been um, in. And this could be relationships. This could be jobs. This could be all ways of throwing things or this could be behaviors. Um, even the way you think. For a lot of you guys... I feel like y'all moving on from this because this came out in the reverse. And this is card 25. And with two and five together, that's seven. So I'm thinking about the chariot card. So I am seeing for a lot of you guys, you are breaking major cycles in your life here. Okay, right under this card, we got the Y. This came out like this. So for a lot of you guys, you have you have had to go within and figure out why you've been going through cycles you know why have things been so hard or you know why why it seemed like you're stuck and stagnant and i feel like for a lot of you guys you don't receive the answer to your question for for some of you like i said this could be jobs for some of you you've been stuck at dead end jobs and you like you know what i gotta hurry up and get up out of here i'm tired of working this nine to five i know it's something better you know a lot of y'all y'all starting to change um the way that you think I'm hearing lack. For some of you guys, you had a lack mentality. And Spirit is showing you that you are able to do this. No matter what you got, I don't care how much money you got, or where you come from, you are able to create the life that you want here. Okay? I'm definitely seeing a lot of you going within in um just, just looking over different things in your life that you need to change here. And I feel like whatever you guys been going through, spirit was in the midst of all of this, okay? It was the reason why things was coming up, okay? You see these angel wings here, this book, spirit wanted you to go within and see what it was that was missing or what it was that you need to release. And for a lot of you, it was control, trying to have control of a situation. And with this round and round, y'all, I heard round and round, round we go. So a lot of you guys, Y'all breaking from this uh, cycle that you was in. We also got cleaning up coming out, y'all. All right. This is the number 21 card. And this is also representing the world card for me. Um, I also picked up a song for this. 
I'm sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. But tonight, I'm cleaning out my closet. So a lot of y'all cleaning out y'all closet, okay? I'm hearing old skeletons, things that's been coming up from the past. Like, you just letting it go. You just being free with your life. You're like, you know what? I ain't got time for that. I'm not going to let that get me down. No matter what's going on, I'm going to keep going. Okay, for a lot of you, you're cleaning up your life as well. You're changing a lot in your life. And I'm, I'm also picking up, it could have been a struggle for you. But I definitely feel like spirit was wanting for you guys to do this. This was like the catalyst to push you guys in the future. This was the catalyst for you to bring new energy into your life or into your home here. For a lot of you guys, you're cleaning up trash or stuff that no longer serves you. We also got truth be told to come out. So this is the number 14. One and four together. I got the Hierophant. So I'm picking up that spirit is wanting spirit was wanting for you guys to be honest with yourself about everything that's going on in you guys life. You also see a mask here. So I definitely feel like the mask has come off. You guys, you see the truth of what it really is. And a lot of you guys are embracing a new life or a new future for yourself with this window being open here. All right, and your ancestors are guiding you. Your ancestors been talking to you as well with this owl. I was meditating over the car, the cars before I started, and I saw an owl. And when this car popped out, I was like, dang, that's what I saw. So I am picking up you guys. Your ancestors has been showing you the way. Spirit is wanting for you guys to know that you're going through a transformation process, okay? You're going through a death and rebirth with the 46 that's 10. I'm definitely seeing some type of cycle or an ending that, that's taking place. It could be a lot of stuff that's um, falling away in your life because it looked like the forest here is on fire. But look at this tree. This tree is sprouting, um, um, it's sprouting leaves. This is talking about new beginnings. So spirit is taking away a lot of things that's old or a lot of things that's outdated in your life. And I'm hearing a transformation. You guys, you're going through some type of regeneration here. And spirit is wanting for you guys to breathe, okay? To breathe and remain in the flow, okay? Remain calm. Release the need of trying to control a situation, okay? Trust in the universe, universe and trust in God that everything is going to be okay. Spirit is one of you guys to breathe and make sure you're taking time out to meditate as well. I am seeing a lot of justice that's going to be coming in for you for you guys as well. Because we got the number 29. 2 and 9 together, together is, is that's the justice card. That's the justice card for me. So I am seeing that spirit is one of you guys to breathe. Don't get yourself worked up. Don't, you know, start panicking because something is leaving your life. It happened for a reason. I'm seeing a lot of healing that's going to be coming in for you guys as well. For a lot of you guys, you are about to co-create with spirit. I'm hearing a project. So I don't know what you guys are doing, but I, I am hearing that you guys are about to co-create with spirit here. You're about to create something new in your life. Now, this could be a job. This could be a project. This could be um, um, something new. Okay. But I'm picking up that spirit is guiding you at this time. And with this cheetah being to start showing you the way. Um, like I said, something here is going to be coming in very fast. And I feel like it's this treasure. All right. It's something that you guys been wanting. This is definitely coming up for you in the future. I feel like it's going to come in after Mercury retrograde. It might not happen right after Mercury retrograde, but something big is coming in for you guys. For those of you who have started a business and you've been working on this for a while, you're about to see a lot of success or a lot of abundance come your way. Okay. Um, Spirit is definitely about to grant you something here. For those of you who haven't started yet, I feel like you're about to get started with Co-Create and Treasure Island. You're about to get started. And whatever you're about to do, this is going to bring you a lot of success as well. I'm just seeing you guys releasing the need to control here. And I feel like that's what spirit was wanting for you guys to do. I feel like you're letting spirit take the wheel in your life. And it's a lot of things that's about to change for you guys. Okay. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the collective. Look at this, y'all. Letting go. Look at that. Look at that. Look what I cut it on. Letting go. 
This says releasing, surrendering, freedom, dropping burdens, letting go of control. What will be, will be getting in the flow. Yes, you guys, you're getting in the flow in your life. And I'm definitely feeling like spirit is about to grant you guys some access to something here. Something that you wanted, something that you've been wishing for. This could be a house, a job, a relationship, a new relationship, or even a reconciliation here. Something here is major and it's about to take place in you guys' life. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the collective for January the 31st to February the 1st, Spirit. Show me what I need to see. Yeah. So, y'all, yeah, we got Dark Night of the Soul. And it came out in reverse. For some of you guys, you could have been going through the Dark Night of the Soul here. Okay? And this also says Death and Rebirth. So, I am seeing that something... Um, you guys, you, you're you're receiving a lot of downloads at this time. And I feel, like I said, it's a lot of things in your life is fading away. But this is meant to happen. This is meant to take place. I'm hearing liberated. For a lot of you guys, you're about to be liberated. I'm also hearing spiritual awakening. You guys are evolving at a very high rate at this time as well. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have been having... um financial issues are not really feeling stable in your life here um or you could have felt like you really didn't have that many opportunities or for some of you guys you could have felt insecure regarding your living situations your finances here or something but i'm feeling like this is changing this is definitely changing you guys we also got gemini energy coming out so for some of you, you could be a Gemini or you could have been dealing with a Gemini here or this is just Gemini energy. Gemini is an air sign. So Gemini's temp tip typically stay in their head a lot, okay? And when things get wrong, they think the worst. So I'm picking up that spirit is um spirit could be showing you guys this and showing you how this is not helping you. All right? Um, for some of you guys, you could have been worried, like I said, about your finances or not being able to get things or even not really just having a good direction. You lack direction in your life. I'm picking up this spirit is showing you the way at this time. For a lot of you, like I said, it's because you're letting go. We also got light worker. So I am picking up for a lot of you guys. You are light workers. You could be an old soul. I'm definitely picking up for a lot of you. You might be chosen as well. So spirit is move, removing a lot of obstacles from your life at this time. Because I feel like whatever it is that you want, you're about to get this. Because we got strong manifester as well. For a lot of you guys, you are strong manifestors. I just heard I am. For some of you, you could be doing... um positive affirmation uh, affirmations like i am powerful i am strong i release the need to control i trust the universe you know I, i'm here and i am for a lot of you you know who you are and you know that this is just a phase in your life i just heard the other side of the storm you know on the other side side of the storm is rainbows is milk and honey you know your treasure is waiting for you and for a lot of you guys you're trusting the process now um i'm definitely picking up for for some of you you could be a teacher or you're meant to be a teacher all right this could be to children but this could also be like a spiritual teacher here as well um and i'm also hearing spirit is one of you guys to connect with nature now yesterday y'all i went outside and i was hugging the tree and my daughter was looking at me like mama are you serious you're gonna get a bug in your hair and I'm like, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But it feels so good to feel that energy from the tree and to release. You know what I'm saying? But um, spirit is calling you guys to go into nature at this time, especially if you're not feeling grounded. Okay, y'all, make sure y'all drinking plenty of, of water. Make sure you're taking care of your health, your physical health as well. Because like I said, you guys, you are powerful manifestors. And I feel like you're manifesting a new life for yourself at this time. And it can feel like things is coming down. Yeah, we also got Jupiter coming in in reverse. For some of you guys, um, 
you could have felt like you had a stroke of bad luck. <laughs> All right. For some of you guys, you could have felt like you were receiving karma. But I'm also picking up that this could have been somebody that you're dealing with. There could be somebody who's still attached to your energy or want to come in towards you. And this person is in a lot of karma at this time. You could also be feeling this energy here or you feel like it's spilling over into your life. For a lot of you guys, I'm also picking up that you're realizing that you need to cut ties with someone here. Because you feel like this person have a lot of toxic energy attached to them. And in order for you to get what you want, you have to cut them loose as well. Okay, because somebody here has been overindulgent and spirit has had enough of this. Okay, um, whoever this person is, I am picking up you guys. They're going through a lot and they're wanting to come back into your life or they're wanting to be back around you. Or this is somebody who's wanting to be back in your energy. Because for a lot of you, I am picking up you have a really good healing energy. And there is somebody who need healing at this time. But spirit is wanting for you to focus on yourself at this time. Because whoever this person is, they need to put in the work. I am picking up on a codependent energy here as well. Spirit, show me why I need opportunists. So spirit is wanting for you guys to protect yourself. Because I am picking up that for some of you, you can have family members or friends. These people are opportunists. All right. This could even be exes from the past. It's like this person is trying to see um, if they got a good hand with you or if, you know what I'm saying, you will allow them to come back into your life. This is somebody who likes to play the field or this person is always seeking personal gain. Um, for some of you guys, I'm hearing fraud. So this person could have tried to come to you guys and I'm hearing they could have looked very sincere about wanting to come back to you and all of that. But this person has a poker face. So spirit is wanting for you guys to protect your energy at this time, especially if you're wanting something new. If you're waiting on your life partner to come in, spirit is wanting for you to cut all energy off from this person. Because this could be somebody who's energetically thinking about you or sending you psychic attacks. And it could be a lot of negative energy attached to this person here. Okay, we also got smooth criminal. So this person real smooth. Okay, spirit is wanting for you guys to be careful uh, regarding this person this is somebody who like to chase money and they could be looking at you as an opportunity at this time as well like i said because they know you are a healer this is somebody who's going through a lot you guys and this person is wanting for you to help them or heal them or um i just heard provide so for some of them they might need financial um they might need financial help spirit show me what i need to see what else for the collective <clears throat> yeah we got karmic storm whoever this person is they're definitely going through some type of karmic storm at this time um this person gotta pay their debt this is somebody who gotta understand that there's um there's gonna always be an effect to whatever they do okay it's a cause and a reaction like it's a cause and an effect to everything all right it's time for this person to pay the piper spirit is wanting for this person to bend the knee here all right, this is somebody who's been refusing to get on the path that they're supposed to get on. And spirit could be causing a lot of things to crumble in their life at this time, y'all. Spirit. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we got a wounded warrior here. So, yeah, you guys, this is somebody who is is drained. This person I've been through a lot. This person could also be very guarded as well. Um ongoing battle this is somebody who is still refusing to do what it is that they supposed to do here spirit is wanting for this person to um i'm here and surrender this person whoever you guys was dealing with they need to surrender here i'm also here in virgo as well all right because i'm seeing the um the number nine that's the the hermit card i'm seeing virgo for some of you you could have been dealing with a virgo um, we also got Taurus in a reverse. Some of you, you could have been dealing with a Taurus. And I'm picking up that this person is very materialistic. This is also somebody who's very obsessed with you guys' energy, okay? This person is definitely wanting to come back into your life. But I'm picking up that this is somebody who's not willing to do the work at this time. This person is 
<laughs> this person lacked discipline and structure in their life. Um, for a lot of them, I am picking up at this time, they could be very weak or this is somebody who could also be very weak minded. This person is definitely trying to come back into you guys life. For some of them, it's like they don't really know what to say to you or this person could be stubborn at this time. And I feel like spirit could be blocking this person from their blessings. And so if spirit is blocking this person, you don't need to have no ties with this person, okay? Because they're being blocked at this time. Spirit is whooping their ass at this time. And I feel like a lot of y'all, y'all don't want their ass whooping. So <laughs> let them go. We also got friends, you guys. Okay, so this says rot or die, thick or thin, sisterhood, respect, love, genuine, unconditional, reliable, supportive, bun, honest. For a lot of you guys, I am picking up that you're about to meet your soul tribe. People that's like you, people who's different, unique, okay? People not afraid to speak their minds, but people who's also a support system, okay? I'm hearing honest. For some of you, you could be dealing with fake friends. Okay, so this is a big one, y'all. So we got new love coming in in a reverse. So Spirit is saying for those of you who have been holding on to a past love here, okay, holding on to the past, Spirit is wanting for you to let this go because you're going to miss your opportunity to get new love. Now, if you're trying to attract somebody from your past back into your life, if you feel like this person is healed, this is not for you. This is for my people who are waiting for their life partner to come in. There is somebody from your past that you truly need to cut off in order to manifest this new love into your life. Because this person could be causing blockages in your life. Or this is somebody who do, do, don't, they don't want you to find new love. This is somebody who wants you to wait on them. Okay, wait till they get on their feet or wait till things get better. And I feel like a lot of y'all tired of waiting. Okay, you're ready to move on. It's done been months, years. For a lot of you, you're ready to move on with your life. We also got sun. So I am picking up you guys that something is going to be taking place in the summer season or the spring season here. Um, but I'm definitely seeing spirit. You're going to be given a crown or something is going to be given to you. And I'm, for a lot of you, this is your finances here, whatever you've been creating on, because I'm seeing the queen of wands right now. Whatever you've been working on, if this is a business or a project, something that's going to be very, very successful, you guys, this spring or summertime, okay? Um, and this says creativity, present, conscious, masculines. For a lot of my feminists, I feel like you're stepping into your masculine energy, you're taking control of your life. You're having confidence and self-esteem about yourself. You're remaining focused on the prize. I feel like um, a lot of you are focusing on your health as well. And I feel like a lot of prosperity is coming in for you guys because you're cho choosing to be strong. Okay? You're choosing to... Um, go after what it is that you're want. I'm picking up on a very determined energy here. Okay, it's like you refuse to be stopped no matter what is thrown your way. You're refuse you're refusing to be stopped here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see y'all. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the collective. Show me what I need to see my Holy Spirit. What's going on January the 31st to February the 1st, Spirit? What do the collective need to know? What else, Spirit? Show me what I need to see for the collective. January the 31st to February the 1st, Spirit. Show me what I need to see for the collective. What's straight out the deck? Yeah, with the start and reverse. For a lot of you, y'all know somebody it has not healed. This is somebody from your past. But I'm also picking up that this could have been your past energy as well. For some of you guys, you hadn't healed over um, a relationship or it could, it could have been things going on in your home as well. Like having to try to control things. You could have felt like you lost control over your life. I'm definitely seeing that spirit is showing you that um i'm hearing renew that your life is about to be renewed and in order for that to happen a lot of things have to fall away but i'm also picking up that yeah look y'all at the bottom of the deck y'all look y'all got good fortune coming in for y'all okay 
Um, but I am picking up that there is somebody who could be still attached to your energy. This person is not healed. And I'm hearing not grounded. This person is not balanced. Spirit is wanting for you to protect your energy at this time because you're manifesting at a high rate. And it might not feel like it, but you are. Look at the Eight of Pentacles. Like I said, y'all manifesting at a high rate. I feel like whatever is going on in your life, you're not letting this bother you. You're going to continue to create. You're, you're, you're going to continue to work on yourself, take care of yourself. Whatever it is that you're doing, I'm hearing um, wayward son. <laughs> wayward son, there'll be peace when you are done. <laughs> Lay your, I'm hearing supernatural. What? <laughs> I'm hearing wayward son of a uh, supernatural. So spirit is saying carry on, okay? Because there will be peace when you're done. There's something definitely that's coming in for you guys. Uh, with the two of wands here, I'm, I'm picking up that you guys are making a decision. You're about to choose a new path for yourself. I'm hearing planning, um, planning and waiting or planning action and waiting. So a lot of you guys, you're planning out your life, you're taking action, and you're waiting for the results to come in. Okay, Spirit. Yeah, we got the Ten of Pentacles coming up in reverse, and we got the Eight of Wands in reverse. So y'all, I am picking up that Spirit is saying that for some of y'all, y'all do still have somebody still attached to y'all energy. This person's life is falling apart. This is somebody who feel very stuck at this time. I'm also picking up that this person is not coming towards you right now because it could be something going on with a vehicle or something going on with their finances here. But spirit is one of y'all to cut this energy off because this is somebody who's going to prevent you from getting what it is that you deserve here. For a lot of you, you're waiting for your life partner. This person could be preventing that or this person could be... Um, I'm hearing psychic attacks, you guys. It's a lot of psychic attacks that's going on right now. This could be somebody who's wishing ill intent on your business as well. I feel like whatever this person is wishing, it's about to be blocked. Okay? This is somebody who don't want you to succeed or somebody who don't want you to get what it is that God wants you to have. We also got the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. I picked up on this energy the other day, y'all. For some of you, it, be, it could be your own damn divine masculine that's sending these psychic attacks. But it could also be somebody who's attached to them, especially if they know that this person is wanting to return into your life. Okay? But spirit is one of y'all to block this energy off here and keep your eyes on the prize. Stay focused. I don't care what's going on in your life. Look, we got the five of swords in reverse. Y'all ain't got time for this mind games, mind manipulation this person trying to do here. This is somebody who's trying to send um, psychic attacks, y'all. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. This is somebody who's trying to get one up on you. Or this is somebody who is wishing ill intent on you. Okay, it's like he happy. This woman sad over here. This person got a smirk on their face. Spirit wants you to cut this energy off, y'all. And this could also be friends as well because I did pull the friend card. And look, this is two fives. So for, for whoever this is, I am picking up that this person could be going through a lot. It could be issues going on at home. This person could want to come back towards you as well. But this is definitely somebody who's receiving a lot of tower moments in their life at this time. Okay. Spirit, show me what I need to see. What else? Anything else, Spirit? Oh. Yeah, two assists. Two, two assists. <laughs> two of swords. Y'all going to be cutting somebody off here. I'm definitely picking up that you're cutting some type of energy off because you're trying to stay focused on yourself at this time. All right. This could be a king of wands that you're dealing with. This is definitely somebody who is determined to come back into your life at this time. I feel like you guys are about to cut this energy off. Yeah. With the nine of cups in reverse, you know that this person haven't healed themselves. You also know that this person is seeking some type of financial gain as well from you. So I feel like a lot of you guys are choosing to cut this person off. Spirit. Yeah, we got the magician in the reverse. Y'all know you don't never want to get the magician in the reverse. This is a trickster. This is somebody who is um, a manipulator, an opportunist. Somebody who is trying to overdo their uh, manipulation and control as well. 
like I said, for some of them, they could be praying for y'all downfall here. Because this came out under the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody don't want you to succeed. Or this person don't want you to, to succeed without them. But like I said, this could also be a, a karmic. They do not want you guys to succeed. Because they know that this person is wanting to come towards you. You guys take it how it resonates. Yeah, because they know you got good fortune. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, y'all got some y'all got some money coming in. Do you hear me? It's some success that's coming in for you guys. This person don't want you to be successful. They don't want you to have victory and success. Okay? This is somebody who's praying on your downfall here. What else, spirit? Judgment. Spirit done pass judgment on these people. If they wish an ill intent on y'all, they better be careful. Okay, because spirit is really, um, I'm hearing making the walls fall. Like their their foundation is falling. If they got a job, they're about to lose it. They vehicles breaking down. Like they need to stop. Spirit done pass judgment on these people. And that's that's another reason why spirit wants you to cut this energy off here. Okay, because a lot of these people are going through karma at this time. And you don't need no type of attachment to them. Okay. Yeah, it could be this King of Wands, like I said. Okay, this is, y'all, the King of Wands is not a emotional card, okay? The Wands is not a emotional card. That's your cups, all right? The Wands are all about passion. This is somebody who chased passion or chase superficial things. This is somebody who, um, this person could also use sex to get what they want as well, okay? And I'm also picking up that this is somebody who's focusing on their finances. We ain't got no emperor yet, okay? I ain't got no emperor yet here. This is somebody who's focusing on themselves at this time. They don't, you're not really in their intentions. This is somebody who's focusing on themselves. Spirit wants y'all to cut this damn energy out. Spirit, show me what I need to see. What else? What else, Spirit, for the collective? What else the collective needs to know, Spirit? Y'all, this person trying to come back. Y'all, if y'all haven't cut communication, y'all might want to, especially in the next month that we're going in. Because I'm picking up that a lot of you guys are going to start receiving a lot of blessings, especially towards the end of February here. But yeah, this is somebody who want to come in and put in the effort and work uh, with you. But I'm also picking up that a lot of you guys, you're ready to see some type of um, results from what it is that you've been doing here as well. Spirit, anything else? Yeah, y'all turning y'all back to this. Y'all finna turn y'all back to this. I feel like you done. Like you're putting an ending to whatever happened in the past. Um, you're releasing what you no longer can control. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're focusing on yourself. You're putting love into yourself at this time. Okay? Because you know if you let this person back into your life, it's going to be a lot of conflict here. Yeah, y'all know it's going to be a lot of conflict here. This is somebody who... Um, this is somebody who carry conflict and confusion wherever they go. Okay. This is the type of person that don't close out cycles. They leave back doors open. They leave, leave back doors open to their exes and other people that they don't walk away from. You guys, you don't want this conflict in your life. Okay. You're ready to, um, I'm here to be free. You're ready to be free of this. Y'all, I did say the hermit card, didn't I? Some of y'all, y'all could have been dealing with a Virgo here. This person is not balanced. This is somebody who's not taking time out to work on themselves, okay? This person could be still entertaining other people or it's still a lot of confusion going on in this person's life. I am picking up that uh, some shit done hit the store, some shit done hit the fan regarding this person and these options that they was dealing with as well. And this could be somebody who's running away. This person don't want to deal with this conflict, but I'm I'm picking up that this person started it. Okay, so a lot of people could be upset at this person or they're pulling their energy back from this person. And that's why this person want to come towards you because they see money, money. Hell yeah. And victory and success. This is somebody who could play on your heart, but this person is a snake. This person could try to come in and romance you, but this person's life is fucked up. Okay. Yeah, with the king swords in the reverse. This is somebody who don't tell the truth. A straight narcissist, y'all. Y'all got to cut this energy off. 
you know and for some of you this is your divine masculine and the only way they're going to learn is if you completely cut them off okay what will be will be case sarah sarah <laughs> spirit show me what i need to see show me what i need to see for the click what the click needs to know i finna hurry up and wrap this up you guys spirit show me what i need to see for the collective january the 31st to february the 1st what do they need to know spirit what's going on here what's going on show me what i need to see y'all i be talking too long i don't be meaning to keep y'all that long what did i say what what did I say? Y'all get ready. Y'all got some unexpected income coming, especially for my CEOs, bosses, entrepreneurs out there that have been putting in the fucking work. Okay. You got some success that's coming in for you. Y'all expecting it. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. You not, you not worried about this shit. You know it's coming. You don't turn your back to the past. You're focusing on yourself right now. And you're focusing on what spirit is about to bring into your life. And yes, this person is thinking about you. This is somebody who want to message you, talk to you. Because it's a lot that's going on in this person's life. Okay? But I'm picking up spirit is wanting for you to protect your energy. Ooh. This person can't have access to you, all right? Um, I'm not saying they won't never have access to you, but Spirit is saying this person can't have access to you right now, okay? For a lot of you guys, you got a lot that's coming towards you in the future here, all right? I'm hearing privileged lady or privileged man, all right? I'm also hearing that um, you don't raise your standards, you know your value, and you're not going to accept no anything, Spirit is saying that you got to walk out of this person's life. This person can't have access to you and what's coming towards you. All right. I just heard what I promised. Spirit is about to give you what he promised you, what you know that's yours. And look, we got main male and great fortune. Like I said, this is somebody who cannot reap off of you. For some of you, this is your divine masculine with this one up here. All right. For some of them, you guys, I don't mean no harm. But for some of them, spirit is about to replace them with a life partner, okay? All right, that's not for all of them. But for some of them, they're about to get replaced, okay? Spirit, what else? <clears throat> yeah, because this person is not changing. This is somebody who's refusing to change. Um, I just heard at their own demise. At their own demise? So, yeah, this is somebody who haven't been trying to change their life. I feel like this person ain't been working on themselves. Um, it could be something that's going on in this person's house at this time. Yeah, we got false person in house. It could be something that's going on or something took place in a house here. I'm definitely picking up that something was exposed about this person. For some, for some of you, you know this person want to come back to you. Or this person could want to move back in with you. But you know that this is somebody who have not changed. I just heard lying. This person could be lying about them changing here. Spirit, anything else? We're going to pull a trinket and we're going to close this. Yeah, you guys, it's something that took place between this person and this uh, karmic that they was dealing with here. I'm also picking up that this karmic could have took this person to court or somebody could have took this person to court. This person is having to pay legal fees for some of them. It could be child support or it could be other things that's going on here. Um, it could have been a fight or an altercation that broke out. Um, this karmic could have pressed charges. Something has definitely happened, okay? Because I did see the adjudication card. So something is going on between this person and the karmic. And spirit don't want... We got child. For some of them, it's child support. And spirit don't want you guys to have nothing to do with this. For some of them, they, they feel like if they come in and marry you, that you can help them, okay? This is somebody who's wanting some sudden wealth here. But spirit said, no, they can't get none of your wealth. They're going to have to deal with this on their own thief okay spirit wants you to know that this person is a thief this person is not to be trusted here okay spirit is shining light on this person bullshit a lot of people see this person bs now okay y'all got a gift coming in one and seven together that's eight that's also my um twin flame uh number because it's like the infinity symbol 
for a lot of you guys, you have a gift that's coming in for you. And this is for you, not this person, not no one else. This is for you, okay? They can't reap off of you. You, I feel like you put the work in by yourself. No, nah, they can't get none of your shit. Hell no, nah, they didn't put in no work, okay? Spirit, show me what I need to see. What's going on with the collective? January the 31st of February the 1st year. What's going on with the collective that's watching this video? Show me what I need to see. Okay, spirit. Y'all. <laughs> okay, so we got the star. We keep getting the star. So I am picking up that you guys, you're going through some type of um, healing process at this time. I'm also hearing re regeneration as well. But for a lot of you guys, you're about to be a star. I'm hearing a star in the making. Okay, it's a lot of healing that's going to come into your life. And this could be your finances and relationships or whatever you guys. It's a lot of healing that's taking place here. Um, we also got the stallion. So for some of you guys, when you decide to cut off all communication with this person, you got a life partner that's going to be rushing in here. Okay. I'm definitely picking up that this is somebody who is going to pursue you. You're not going to have to pursue this person. This is somebody who's going to come after you because whoever this person is coming, they're going to see your value. Okay. It could be a million people in the room, but they look at you. Their eyes are on you. Something is definitely coming in quick, fast, in a hurry. Uh, I ain't never got this trinket, y'all. We got the shell. For a lot of you guys, you about to bury this shit. <laughs> I just heard y'all you about to put an end to this it's like you putting the, the dirt on top of it. like you know what I ain't got time for this shit no more nope you're not finna block my blessings I know what I need to do I finna walk away for a lot of you guys you're about to bury your past here you're done with it you don't learn your lesson from it and we also got we got a woman here so this is like my divine feminine or my empress trinket so I am picking up that I'm hearing you guys are divinely favored, okay? I'm also hearing that a lot of you guys, you chose to be loyal to yourself. Um, I'm hearing courage, strength, confidence as well. Uh, for a lot of you guys, you are definitely transforming at a rapid rate. Um, I'm seeing a lot of you guys even looking different in the spring and summertime. I don't know if you guys are on a diet or are you just eating healthy. I'm seeing y'all skin looking good, glowing. I'm hearing natural hair or your hair is really healthy. It's a lot about you that's changing. And it's because you're purging. You're purging all of the toxicity out of your life, out of your body, out of your skin, out of your mouth, out of your mind. You know, all of your purging at this time, you guys. And look. Remember, we pulled two owl um, oracle cards at the beginning. And I told y'all I seen an owl in my meditation. We got an owl. I told y'all, y'all ancestors around y'all and they guiding y'all at this time. Spirit is definitely in the midst of you guys' storm. I just heard, hold on. I'm coming. <laughs> Hold on. So Spirit wants you guys to hold on because your blessings is coming, boo. Okay, can't nobody stop you. Just cut off all the toxicity. If you know people aren't doing what they're supposed to do, cut their ass off. Okay, and continue to focus on you. Let go of the need to control. Trust the universe. Stop going against the tides and go in the flow. Okay, it's time to get in the flow of life. Because you guys, you got a lot of blessings coming for y'all. Okay, and I feel I just heard divinely written. So, and I just heard written in the stars. Some of you guys, you could have got a recent birth chart of your yourself or something, but something here was written in the stars. Y'all, if y'all haven't got y'all birth chart yet, and and you want to know more about your life and your life journey, I definitely advise you guys to um to get your birth certificate. It needs to have your time that you was born. 
in um, what it is. It's like taking a blueprint of the sky and it can tell you more about your life. It'll tell you your strong points and your weak points, things you need to work on. It'll tell you about your soul journey, what it is that you're meant to do, what it is that you're good at. So yeah, you guys, for a lot of you who feel like you don't have direction in your life, you need to get your, your birth certificate and you need to get your birth chart so you can find out what it is that you're meant to do okay so y'all that's what i got i hope y'all enjoyed these messages